only guy that ever wore his ring. He was a central part of the 1985 Super Bowl Bears, and today, Misty McMichael can hardly contain her excitement when talking to her husband of 22 years about the Hall of Fame. ALS has ravaged the body of legendary Bears defensive tackle Steve McMichael. He's unable to move or even speak. But his mind is still fully engaged, and the Hall of Fame means the world to him. It's given us a mission and something else to focus on besides death. You know, it's given us life. Misty McMichael got the call from the Hall of Fame Senior Committee yesterday afternoon, letting her know that Steve made the final cut. She held a party to celebrate last night, but had to wait to share the news. The Hall of Fame insisted she keep it quiet until the official announcement at noon today. I told him, I said, it's kind of like the Super Bowl shovel. They filmed that before they won the Super Bowl. So, you know, I was just kind of partying before the official party. McMichael made an appearance at his party last night by Zoom. He still needs the approval from the full Hall of Fame committee before next year's Super Bowl, but many consider that a formality. Longtime Bears writer Dan Pompey is on the committee and made the case for McMichael to the other voters, and he says for him this was not a sympathy vote because of McMichael's condition. Nobody is more deserving to be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame than Steve McMichael. So, you know, I'm just thrilled that it finally was recognized after so long. Steve McMichael has been eligible for the Hall of Fame for 25 years, but voter Dan Pompey says this is the first time voters have actually considered his case. The Bears plan to celebrate McMichael at their season opener next month. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.